How to make Carolina barbecue. Classic Carolina barbecue features hickory smoked pork with a delicious finishing sauce. Here are some tips to get started. You will need pork, yellow mustard, one cup of smoked paprika or pimenton, a quarter cup plus one teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup plus two tablespoons of ground black pepper, a quarter cup of granulated sugar, two tablespoons of garlic granules, one tablespoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of oregano, two tablespoons of powdered yellow mustard, two tablespoons of dark chili powder, two cups of chicken broth, four cups of apple cider vinegar divided, two tablespoons of virgin olive oil, a quarter cup of brown sugar, a half a tablespoon of red pepper flakes, a splash of hot sauce, and vinegar coleslaw. Equipment, latex or unused kitchen gloves, a smoker or barbecue pit, hickory wood chips, a meat thermometer, and a basting brush or sauce mop. Step one, get the meat. In the Carolinas, that means pork. The entire hog is often barbecued, but you can also use pork shoulder or ribs. Step two, prepare the dry rub. Mix together the paprika, quarter cup of salt, quarter cup of black pepper, the granulated sugar, garlic granules and powder, oregano, powdered mustard, and dark chili powder. Put on your gloves, coat the meat in yellow mustard, and liberally sprinkle the seasonings over the meat. Let the meat stand at room temperature for one hour before grilling to allow the seasonings to penetrate. Step three, make the basting sauce, called the mop, by mixing the chicken broth, two cups of apple cider vinegar, olive oil, and one tablespoon of black pepper. Simmer over low heat for 10 minutes. Allow it to cool. Step four, oil the grill rack and prepare the barbecue pit or smoker according to its instructions using hickory wood chips to flavor the meat. Maintain a temperature between 250 and 300 degrees. Step five, smoke the meat for an hour to one and a half hours per pound or until it reaches an internal temperature of 180 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. An hour after you begin cooking, begin brushing the mop on the meat every 30 minutes to an hour. Avoid opening the smoker to check on the meat too often or you'll slow down cooking. Step six, make the finishing sauce by mixing two cups of apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of black pepper, red pepper flakes, and hot sauce. Use the sauce as a dip alongside the meat. Step seven, once the meat's done, let it rest for an hour, then serve Carolina barbecue with a side of coleslaw and enjoy. Did you know? Many claim that barbecue was invented in South Carolina in the 1500s when Spanish settlers adapted the cooking techniques of the natives. How to make Kansas City barbecue. In Kansas City, barbecue is dry rubbed, cooked for hours, and served with a distinctive sauce. You will need up to 10 pounds of meat, one cup of smoked paprika or pimenton, a quarter cup plus one tablespoon of salt, a quarter cup plus two tablespoons of ground black pepper, a quarter cup plus one tablespoon of granulated sugar, two tablespoons of garlic granules, one tablespoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of oregano, two tablespoons of powdered yellow mustard, two tablespoons of dark chili powder, yellow mustard, one cup of strong coffee, a half cup of Worcestershire sauce, a quarter cup of unsalted butter, four cups of ketchup, divided, a half cup of water, a half cup of cider vinegar, a half cup of tomato paste, two thirds of a cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of onion powder, one teaspoon of ground celery seed, and one teaspoon of smoked salt. Equipment, latex or unused kitchen gloves, a smoker or barbecue pit, hickory wood chips, a meat thermometer, and a basting brush or sauce mop. Step one, get the meat. In some regions, barbecue focuses on specific types of meat, but in Kansas City, anything and everything can be barbecued. Use your favorite beef, pork, and poultry. Step two, prepare the dry rub. Mix the paprika, a quarter cup of salt, a quarter cup of black pepper, sugar, garlic granules and powder, oregano, powdered mustard, and two tablespoons of dark chili powder together. Put on your gloves, coat the meat in yellow mustard, and liberally sprinkle the seasonings over the meat. Let the meat stand at room temperature for one hour before grilling to allow the seasonings to penetrate. Step three, make the mop by mixing the coffee, Worcestershire sauce, butter, one cup of ketchup, and one tablespoon each of pepper, sugar, and salt in a saucepan. Bring to a boil, then simmer for 30 minutes. Allow it to cool. Step four, 
Oil the grill rack and prepare the barbecue pit or smoker according to its instructions using hickory wood chips to flavor the meat. Maintain a temperature between 250 and 300 degrees. Step 5. Cook the meat for 1 to 2 hours per pound depending on the meat. Consult a cookbook for exact cooking times. Starting an hour after you begin cooking, apply the mop to the meat with a sauce mop or brush every hour. Avoid opening the smoker to check on the meat too often or you'll slow down cooking. Step 6. Make the thick, sweet sauce Kansas City Barbecue is famous for. Mix 2 tablespoons of yellow mustard, the remaining ketchup, water, vinegar, tomato paste, brown sugar, onion and chili powder, black pepper, celery seed, and smoked salt in a saucepan. Bring to a boil, then simmer for 20 to 25 minutes or until it thickens, stirring often. Make a Kansas City favorite known as burnt ends by trimming the charred edges and ends off of beef brisket or pork, chopping them into bite-sized pieces, and serving them with plenty of sauce. Step 7. Slather the sauce on the meat about 10 minutes before you take it out of the smoker and serve it alongside the finished product for extra dipping. That's good eating. Did you know? The man credited with inventing Kansas City-style barbecue is Henry Perry, who sold slow-cooked meats from an alley stand at the beginning of the 20th. How to make Memphis barbecue. In Memphis, barbecue means delectable, dry-rubbed ribs with sauce on the side. Here's how to bring out the taste of Tennessee. You will need three racks of baby back pork ribs, two and a half tablespoons of ground black pepper divided, a half cup plus one and a half tablespoons of dark brown sugar, three and a half teaspoons of celery salt divided, two teaspoons of cayenne pepper divided, three and a half teaspoons of garlic powder divided, one tablespoon of kosher salt, one and a half teaspoons of dry mustard, one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin, one fourth cup of sweet paprika, two tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, two cups of tomato ketchup, a half cup of mustard, one fourth cup of cider vinegar, three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Equipment, latex or unused kitchen gloves, a barbecue pit or smoker, and hickory wood chips. Optional, a clean kitchen towel. Step one, pull off the thin sheet of skin from the back of each rack and place the ribs on a clean, flat surface. For a better grip on the skin, use a kitchen towel. Step 2. To prepare the dry rub, mix 1 and a half tablespoons of black pepper, 1 and a half tablespoons of brown sugar, 1 and a half teaspoons of celery salt, 1 and a half teaspoons of cayenne pepper, and 1 and a half teaspoons of garlic powder together with the kosher salt, dry mustard, cumin, and paprika in a mixing bowl. Step 3. Put on your gloves and rub two-thirds of the dry rub on both sides of the meat. Cover the meat with plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least 20 minutes. To enhance the flavor, refrigerate the meat for up to eight hours. Step four, oil the grill rack and prepare the barbecue pit or smoker according to its instructions, using hickory wood chips to flavor the meat. Maintain a temperature between 250 and 300 degrees. Step five, put the ribs on the grate bone side down. Smoke them until the meat is very tender and has shrunk back from the ends of the bone, about an hour to an hour and a half. When you have about 15 minutes of cooking time left, sprinkle the remaining rub on the meat. Step six, once the meat is finished cooking, remove it from the heat and let it cool for one hour. Step seven, in a medium saucepan, combine the remaining spices and other ingredients, except the oil. Bring the mixture to a boil, stirring to dissolve the sugar. Reduce the heat and simmer for 25 minutes, then stir in the oil. Step eight, place the sauce in a small serving bowl for easy dipping. Grab a rib and dig in. Did you know, the song Memphis Soul Stew hit number six on the R&B charts in 1967. How to make pulled pork. Pulled pork is a staple wherever barbecue is served. Here's how to prepare this dry rubbed, slow cooked, shredded delight. You will need one cup of smoked paprika or pimenton, a quarter cup of salt, a quarter cup of ground black pepper, a quarter cup of sugar, two tablespoons of garlic granules, one tablespoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of oregano, two tablespoons of powdered yellow mustard, two tablespoons of dark chili powder, one eight to 10 pound bone and pork shoulder, preferably Boston butt, some yellow mustard, two cups of chicken broth, two cups of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of virgin olive oil, and one tablespoon of black pepper. Equipment, latex or unused kitchen gloves, a smoker or barbecue pit, some wood chips, a basting brush or sauce mop, a meat thermometer, and a cutting board or roasting pan. Optional, 
two forks, some hamburger buns, and barbecue sauce. Step 1. Prepare the dry rub. Mix together the paprika, salt, black pepper, sugar, garlic granules and powder, oregano, powdered mustard, and chili powder. Put on your gloves and coat the meat in yellow mustard. Then, liberally sprinkle the rub over the meat. Let the meat stand at room temperature for one hour before grilling to allow the seasonings to penetrate. Step 2. Make the basting sauce, called the mop, by mixing the chicken broth, apple cider vinegar, olive oil, and black pepper. Simmer over low heat for 10 minutes. Allow it to cool. Step 3. Oil the grill rack and prepare the barbecue pit or smoker according to its instructions, using wood chips to flavor the meat. Maintain a temperature between 250 and 300 degrees. Then, score the pork skin, cutting through the skin and fat but not into the meat and forming inch-long diamonds. Step 4. Put the pork skin side up on the rack. Cook the meat over indirect heat for an hour to one and a half hours per pound or until it reaches an internal temperature of 180 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. An hour after you begin cooking, brush the mop on the meat every 30 minutes to an hour. Step 5. Once the pork is finished cooking, remove it to a cutting board or roasting pan. Let it cool for at least an hour. Step 6. Use gloved hands or two forks to pull the pork apart into bite-sized strands and chunks, making sure to remove any bone, fat, and gristle. Serve it on a bun or by itself. Add your favorite barbecue sauce if you'd like, and enjoy! Did you know? In 2006, competitive eater Joey Chestnut consumed 9 pounds 6 ounces of pulled pork in 10 minutes, setting the pulled pork competitive eating record. How to make Texas barbecue Saddle up! This recipe for dry rubbed brisket with a spicy dipping sauce can turn even a Yankee Blue Blood into a Lone Star Pitmaster. You will need 5 to 6 pounds of beef brisket, 1 tablespoon of coarse salt, 1 tablespoon of chili powder, 2 teaspoons of sugar, 1 teaspoon of ground black pepper, 1 teaspoon of ground cumin, 1 tablespoon of butter, 1 garlic clove minced, 1 cup of ketchup, a third of a cup of packed brown sugar, a third of a cup of Worcestershire sauce, a fourth of a cup of fresh lemon juice, one chipotle pepper minced with seeds, a fourth of a teaspoon of ground cayenne pepper, equipment, latex or unused kitchen gloves, a smoker or barbecue pit, hickory wood chips, and a disposable aluminum pan. Step one, rinse the brisket under cold running water, blot it dry, and place it on a clean flat surface. Step two, Prepare the dry rub by mixing the salt, chili powder, sugar, black pepper, and cumin together in a mixing bowl. Step 3. Put on your gloves and rub the spice mix on the meat, covering both sides. Cover the meat with plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least one hour. To enhance the flavor, refrigerate the meat for up to eight hours. Step 4. Oil the grill rack and prepare the barbecue pit or smoker according to its instructions, using hickory wood chips to flavor the meat. Maintain the temperature between 200 and 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Step 5. Put the meat in the pan fat side up and place the pan in the center of the grate. Smoke the meat until tender when pierced with a fork, about 6 to 8 hours. Avoid opening the smoker to check on the meat too often or you'll slow down cooking. Step 6. When the meat finishes cooking, remove it from the heat, place it in a foil pan, and let it cool for 20 minutes. Step 7. In a medium saucepan, melt the butter over medium heat. Add the garlic, stir in the remaining ingredients, and bring it to a boil. Simmer until reduced to 1 and 1 thirds cups, about 15 minutes, stirring occasionally. To give your sauce a smoky flavor, add some of the drippings from the brisket. Place the sauce in a small serving bowl for easy sharing, thinly slice the meat across the grain, and chow down. Did you know? The University of Texas at Austin's mascot is a live longhorn steer named Bevo.